I'm Todd Humphreys, and um, together with Bernice Ghosh, we have been organizing the summit on the WMCT side. Carol Cox has been organizing the summit on the Austin Technology Incubator side. And uh, everyone will have a chance to speak a little bit during the day. What is Texas Wireless Summit? It's a chance for academics and entrepreneurs, business executives, and business engineers, and, and, and industrial engineers to meet together, share some ideas. In this case, 2013 PWS is strongly themed. It's a theme around the intersection of wireless and, and big data or big data analytics. And uh, you can't throw a stick nowadays without hitting a big data conference. So we don't want to be just a, a regular big data conference. We're talking about the intersection. And when we bring to the table our emphasis on wireless, our longstanding <coughs> this is the 11th annual Texas Wireless Summit. But this time we're talking about how data analytics disrupt or may not disrupt the way we proceed with wireless, the, the business of wireless. Uh, I'll turn the time over now to Kyle for an introduction in, uh, from, from, the, uh, from API, and later you'll hear from Robert Keith. I guess I'd like to recognize uh, Chandra Bhatt in the back, who's the, the, the director of the Center for Transportation Research. We've also got Bob Metcalf here in the front, and, and a few others from, uh, from UT, uh, and then Robert will, will uh, speak a little bit about our affiliates. Uh, Joy will have a little bit of a chance later on to introduce panelists and uh, other speakers. So let the games begin. Go ahead, Kyle. Thank you. So uh, again, as, uh, to echo Todd's uh, welcome, thank you all for coming. Uh, just a quick, um, uh, a quick couple of housekeeping items and, and a little advertising. Uh, so parking, uh, there was a, a, a card. If you didn't get it, we have them now at the registration desk. So. If you parked and need validation, those cards are available. They look like this. You can pick them up just outside on the tables. And as long as you're not transmitting too much big data, we have Wi-Fi access <laughs> uh, for you all as well. If you didn't get one of these uh, slips of paper uh, there as well, there's a, a network passcode that I won't read, but it, it's, uh, it's there. Uh, a little bit about the Austin Technology Incubator. Uh, we are a unit of the university. Uh, but our mission uh, is in helping startups, uh, startups in Central Texas, whether they come from the, the university or not. We've been around for 25 years, and we're a bit of an anomaly in the, in the academic institution. Uh, we, uh, we here at UT, we grow uh, the next generation of engineering students and, and students from other disciplines as well. We also pride ourselves in growing the next generation of uh, potential entrepreneurs, uh, whether it be intrapreneurs inside of, of many of the industrial affiliates uh, organizations or uh, folks that are going to go out on their own and, and, and forge their way. Uh, statistically, uh, we're, uh, we're pretty proud of some numbers. We, our, our member companies uh, that are part of API have uh, raised um, over $230 million over the last five years in outside capital. These are new capitals putting money into startups, uh, many of whom are growing out of, of efforts here at, at UT Austin. Uh, and we're also seeing a lot of our industrial affiliate partners uh, acquiring these companies. Uh, we've had uh, over uh, $340 million of exits, meaning uh, startups that were then acquired by, uh, by some of y'all in the room, actually. And um, so we're, uh, we're really proud of that. We couldn't do that without the support of many of our sponsors, uh, namely the city of Austin. Uh, we're uh, we're a, a benefactor of, of the city of Austin's uh, great uh, vision on economic development for Central Texas. To those who were around 35 years ago, there was the government and the university and I think maybe some Mexican food restaurants. That was the, that was the commerce of Central Texas. And uh, look how far we've come in, in that period of time to be holding uh, a conference like this. So uh, we'd like to, to thank the city of Austin. And then we have a number of other sponsors. We'll be giving a little, little plug to them throughout the day. But uh, with that, we, uh, we thank you, Robert. All right, so it's uh, great for me to be here. So Robert Heath, I'm director of our wireless network and communications group. Uh, it's nice to be able to give this initial presentation and be the first one to put us behind schedule. Um, so just a little bit about um, the, the group that we built up here. So, so. As you hopefully know by now, wireless is big in Texas. In the last 10 years, we've created uh, a center at the university here 
with a broad theme of uh, wireless communications. We have right now uh, 20 faculty and about 150 graduate students. What makes our center effective and unique among other such centers around the world is that we have a really healthy industrial affiliates program. I've listed all of my, um, so I'm sorry here, we're heavily funded. We have a very healthy industrial affiliates program that consists of uh, 12 companies and you have many representatives here today. Yesterday is our annual board meeting, so we had an all day meeting yesterday with these companies talking about strategic directions for the next year. Our center is heavily funded. We have about um, $5 million a year of actual expenditures. Most of this is spent on students already. It's funding goes 150 graduate students here. Um, with these affiliates, what we get that's, that makes us special is that we get a lot of insight into what's really going on in the real world here. What's happening in standards? What are the pain points that industry is facing? And so they can come and talk to us and tell us about that. And then in turn, we can tell them what's happening in academia. What's the cutting edge of um, wireless and data and networking here? Where, where should they be thinking you know, three to five to 10 years in the future here? And of course, there's a huge benefit in this program for our students here because um, our students you know, go to internships with the affiliates, they're hired by the affiliates, and of course the affiliates have access to this top quality uh, talent pool of students here. Now, you might wonder, you know, what am I doing up here telling you about wireless at this? It looks like a big data conference here. You've already heard about that from Todd here, but you know, we, we do a lot of work in, in cellular communications and networking and on all aspects of wireless. But over the last few years, our center has broadened its scope. And so now we've been going into um, networking more broadly defined. Uh, as an example here, looking at social networks or vehicular networks, networks where packets are no longer bits of information, but they may be cars, or they may be people, they may be something else here. Um, and a great example of this effort in this network science arena is a, a center for transportation um, proposal that was funded between us, the Center for Transportation Research and the WNCG. This is gonna be a huge collaborative effort that's gonna bring wireless and transportation together here at UT. And so that's just an example of some of the things that we're, we're doing and becoming more broad. Uh, we're also um, heavily in investing in data science and, and data analytics. And I don't just mean to put up big data here just to say yes, we're doing it too. We have uh, people that are, have deep expertise in high dimensional statistics, machine learning, and data mining, and those people also have expertise in wireless and networks and work with the people that are hardcore and networking together. So we're together trying to figure out, you know, what can we do with all this data that are generated in wireless communication networks? How can we operate those networks more efficiently? How can we get value out of those networks for other players? And then uh, finally, we're looking at a whole host of applications. You know, we're not just like a one trick phone, we're looking at cellular making uh, better, faster smartphones. We're looking at applications across the board and. Uh, work on genomic signal processing, biosignal processing, uh, a lot of work happening on video, personal area networks, petroleum, energy, um, health, touch. So we're really looking at things that just go beyond the traditional um, communications uh, school. Now, um, with that, I'd just like to um, you know, thank you all for coming here. So this, this is an event that you know, we started and created for um, our affiliates here. Uh, 10 years ago, and you know, we, we hope that you derive value from this. Um, I, if you're not a member of our affiliate program, I'd like to talk to you more about it and see how you can get more involved with what's happening here at UT. So with that, I'd like to kick off the, uh, the Texas Wireless Summit. So, thank you. Any 